Today we're going to take a look at the first user submitted property attribute, and this one is called the int range attribute. I'll go ahead and leave a link down below where you can go ahead and get these two scripts off of a gist on GitHub. But let's go ahead and take a look at the code and see how it works. So you're going to go ahead and define an int range, call it whatever you want, it's just the variable name. But above it, you're going to go ahead and put the tag int range attribute, and you're going to want to define a minimum and a maximum. Now, this is not the the range of the actual random number that's going to be returned, but the, the minimum and maximum number that can be, exist in that range. So we'll take a look at that on the slider in a bit when we go back into Unity. And then for demonstration purposes, all I'm doing is going in and grabbing the number that comes out of it, that's the random number between the range, and going ahead and debug logging it out. Now it is worth noting that you can actually set the start and end range through code. But we're going to do that in the editor just for demonstration. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at it in Unity. So I've gone ahead and set one up here. As you notice, the, the min was 0 and the max was 10, just like we have in the code. And then we have these two variables down below on what we want the actual range to be. Let's say I want it to be between 2 and 8. And I said 2. <laughs> and of course, you could actually just grab these and drag them along as well. And you can also move the range too. So let's say you wanted a five point range, so between one and six. Then of course you can slide that along. Well, let's go ahead and we'll take a look at it running. So in my update loop, you've seen that I had, it was just constantly going out and grabbing a random number that was generated. And if you notice here, all the numbers are in between. it. Now there was one bug that I noticed with it while I was testing it. And that is if you actually use a negative number for the min value. So let's go in. I'm going to set this 0 to negative 10. I'll go ahead and save it. We'll come back in. Let it update. And when you try to move this slider around, let's give it something big. Let's go negative 5 to 5. Anytime you try to move the slider, it makes the bar itself actually smaller. But of course, it is on GoodHub. Maybe the developer will go ahead and fix that. If not, well, hey, you can fork it and fix it yourself.